Hey guys, welcome to our devotional. We are in our wilderness survival guide uh, because many times God allows us to go through the wilderness. Maybe it's the wilderness of problems, a wilderness of temptations, um, a wilderness of worry about the future, but it's in the wilderness that God works some of his greatest miracles and he grows us. So this is all about building our faith because whenever God allows us to go into the wilderness, it's always to build our faith and prepare us for our purpose. And so maybe you feel like you're in the wilderness right now. God's right there with you. Um, and I think about Jesus when he went into the wilderness and was tempted. Um, Satan came to tempt him and Jesus intentionally went into the wilderness. And uh, he knew this was coming because he was God. But um, uh, what's really interesting, it says, then he went into the wilderness. Um, so you wanna know what happened before then. After what? Um, after he was baptized. So it was a great spiritual high. And then he goes into the wilderness after this great spiritual high and he's tempted by Satan. And many times it's after a great spiritual high, an emotional high, you know, where we see God come through, where we're so excited about the Lord, we're so passionate about the Lord. And after an amazing church service, you know, then maybe that Sunday night, Satan comes to you and you feel like you're in the wilderness and he tempts you. And so uh, Jesus was tempted, but yet he did not give in. And so it's important to understand that temptation is not a sin. It's not a sin to be tempted, but it's a sin to give in to the temptation. But I, I've got some encouraging words for you from 1 Corinthians chapter 10. It says in verse 12 of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, so if you think you're standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. And so it's when we think we're standing firm and we can, hey, we're doing great. I've got no problems that's when we need to be really careful because um, pride can seep in. And it's always pride that comes before a fall, the Bible says. And so I, I wanna stay humble by admitting that I can fall, that I can sin, that I can uh, give in to temptation. And I have to do some things and put some uh, parameters, some accountability and things around me uh, to protect me. If I don't do that, then that's just pride. That's just pride. And so, um, and it goes on to say, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And that's good to know that whatever tempts you today, whatever struggle uh, that you have with temptation and whatever sin that you struggle with, it's common to mankind. Um, there are a lot of other people who are experiencing that. But the good news is that means there are a lot of others in Christ who've had victory or gained the victory over that. And you need to connect with them. You need to, to um, be with them and have someone to mentor you. And so it goes on to say, no temptation is overtaking you what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. And so whatever temptations you're facing, just know that God has given you the power to overcome it. You may not feel like it, but he's given you the power to overcome it. He's given you the tools to overcome it. Um, and it says, but when you're tempted, he, God, will provide a way, a way out so that you can endure it. And so in the temptation, look for that way out that God has provided for you. And uh, one of the ways out is to have an accountability partner, a mentor who knows your struggles, knows what you're going through, that you can call when you're feeling tempted. And, um, you know, our pastors at church are all assigned a mentor uh, to that when they're feeling tempted, they can call and go, hey, you know, I'm feeling tempted right now. I'm not in a great place. And and they can be encouraged and lifted up. And so that's one of the ways out that God provides, but he always provides a way out. But in the middle of temptation, you may not see it. And so it's before the temptation, you need to be prepared. A lot of times we don't prepare until we get into a certain situation. And so we need to prepare by having mentors and being in a life group and and all those things. And so one of the things I really want to point out is our amazing restoration ministry that uh, if you're going through temptation, struggling with a sin, then there's so many there that can help you because we all need God's restoration. And it really all starts with being humble enough to admit, yeah, I struggle. Being humble enough to admit, yeah, I'm human. And so I need God's power and I need some people in my life so that I can stay strong. God bless you. We love you. God wants to work miracles in your life in the wilderness of life. 
and he's teaching you and he wants you to be blessed in the test. Don't ever forget that. He, he wants to give you a blessing in the testing. If we'll just look to him. God bless you.